Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over and above rolling out a massive dev channel inside a build, on the 29th of June, Microsoft has also rolled out a brand new pair of beta channel inside a preview builds, 22621 and 22631.1972. And that's with the update KB5027295. Now this week in the beta channel, there's not really any front-facing features uh, to let you know about. Um, most of the changes and improvements are taking place, as we would say, under the hood. But just to keep you posted and updated and in the loop, if you would be interested as to developments in the beta channel. Now, changes and improvements in build 22631. Um, Microsoft says that insiders in the beta channel are now previewing the Windows App SDK version of File Explorer. Now, basically, this means that the functionality in File Explorer remains unchanged. Um, there's no uh, differences in functionality. There's no new improvements, as an example. It just switches from using WinUR2 to using WinUR3. Now, if you want to know more about the differences between WinUR2 and WinUR3, I'll leave a link to a post of Microsoft's down below, an article you can go read if you would be interested in regarding those differences. Now, there is a fix for build 22631 that is actually worth mentioning. Because as you would know, in a previous flight, um, Microsoft rolled out the option to start hiding the date and time in the system tray, which is an indication, as I've mentioned previously, that Microsoft could be working on a possible Windows 12, because um, it is suspected that Windows 12 will not have a system tray located in the bottom right-hand corner of the taskbar. That'll be moved to... Uh, the top right of the desktop. But nonetheless, um, the option to hide date and time in the system tray from the last flight uh, should no longer be backwards. Apparently, when it was on, it was actually off. And when it was off, it was actually on. So that's a bit of a glitch and a so-called glitch in the matrix. And that's a fix now and quite an important fix that's rolled out for build 22631. Now, um, there are some important fixes that have rolled out for both builds, and these are very similar to what actually rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 as part of the bug fixing updates earlier this week. But nonetheless, just to um, uh, mention these quickly, the update enhances um, support for simplified Chinese fonts. It also introduces the ability to authenticate across Microsoft Cloud. So what this means basically in a nutshell is that you can now use a single authentication process to access multiple Microsoft services um, as it basically satisfies conditional access checks when necessary. Now, that's a mouthful, but nonetheless, the ability to authenticate across Microsoft Clouds now has been introduced in these latest beta channel builds. And then getting back to the File Explorer, once again, they've also um, improved the sharing of local files in File Explorer with Microsoft Outlook contacts. So you can now have the option to quickly email the file to yourself and this basically just makes it more convenient to share files and the loading of contacts from Outlook is also improved. And those key highlights also rolled out to the stable versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And obviously that would also now be included in this week's beta channel builds. And over and above that, we get numerous fixes, very similar to what rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 earlier this week. And that's more or less what's happening for this week with the latest beta channel builds 22621 and 22631.1972. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.